This video in the series of conic sections is going to be taking a look at the components of parabolas. Let us first look at some basic vocabulary dealing with conic sections. This point right here is referred to as the vertex. This line is called the directrix. And finally, this point is referred to as the focus. We're going to examine the parabola from its locus definition, which is it is the set of all points equidistant from a given point and a given line. The given point that we're talking about here is called the focus. The given line is called the directrix. Another term that is helpful to know when describing characteristics of parabolas is the idea of the focal distance. The focal distance is defined as the distance from the vertex to the focus, so this distance here, as well as the distance from the vertex to the directrix. So this right here is also referred to as the focal distance. Those two distances are equivalent to each other. Since we know that those two distances are the same, let's mark them with tick marks on our diagram here. All points P that lie in the parabola are equidistant from the focus and the directrix. So let's take this as an example right here. If I go from point P straight down to my directrix along the perpendicular, that distance is going to be equivalent to the distance from P to my focus. So let's mark those with tick marks. So what kind of interesting features do parabolas actually have? Well, let's start at the focus. If I go from the focal point out directly to a point on the parabola, and then I go from that point straight down perpendicular to the directrix, by the locus definition, those two segments have to be congruent. Earlier, we defined this distance here to be the focal distance. For simplicity's sake, let's call this P. Therefore, if the focal distance is P, then this distance over here is 2P, as we can see from our diagram. If that's true, since those two segments are congruent, that distance is also 2P. Now let's go from the focus straight out in the opposite direction. By symmetry, that distance will be 2P as well, therefore making the total distance from end point to end point a distance of 4P. There are two versions of the parent function of a parabola. The first one is 4p times y equals x squared, where 4p is the length of the lattice rectum. The other version of it is 4p times x is equal to y squared. Hey, wait! How do we know that? I need to see some proof! In one of our follow-up videos, we will explore three questions. How do I derive the equation for a parabola? Why does the equation relate to the length of the lattice rectum? And how do I know which of the two forms of the equation fits the specific parabola that I have?